Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video, we displayed all the movies and if I clicked on this button, we updated the first one. And in this button, we added this uh, callback function here and we changed the state. Now let's create a function here. So in the class, it's going to be a, a method and I'm going to name it Uh, change name so change name and I'm going to say equal to the callback function an arrow function and here is going to be what we have inside now so let's cut them and paste to this one and change on click to be this dot the change name now i'm going to reference this uh, method we don't need to add the parentheses here because it's going to immediately call we just reference to this function okay and if i save that and come here click here it's going to update that okay so the same thing good now uh, what if i want to add an input instead of a button and what i put in that input i'm going to change that name okay so let's uh, remove this button and instead of a button i'm going to add an input with type text and let's self close this one and now here instead of on click we need to say on change and the same thing i'm going to reference this change name so i'm going to say this dot change name if i save now what it's going to do is going to do the same thing we did with the button it's going to update and say past 12 2025 and input type text input not input input like this and now if i type something here it's going to update immediately to the fast 12 but i want to update what we added here i want to update the name so for that this on change is an event handler so in the this method i'm going to add here an event so the event what we put it here is going to be this event and i'm going to update the first name so this one to be what we put in that input so on change is going to call this and it's going to add the event there and I'm going to say event dot target dot value dot value. Now the name is going to be the event target value. So what we put it in this one here. Okay. So we say on change and we reference this method, this change name. And this change name expect the event and we say the name is going to be the event target dot value refresh and let's add that one here so let's say fast 12 and you can see fast 12 if i add something here yeah the same thing if i refresh of course this is fast 9 and this is an empty input now if with Vue.js we have that uh, two data binding we can add just v model and if i put something here we display here and the same thing if we have fast 9 here it's going to be the same thing in here but with react we don't have that so to do two data binding we need to say on change so what we are going to do when we change this input and I'm going to add the value now of that input to be 
this state and the first name. So let's copy that and paste it here. Now, if I save and come here, you can see immediately this is fast nine, the same thing we have in the first one. And of course, if I say 9000 now, it's going to be the same thing in the name here. So it's going to update what we put inside here. Okay, friends, so, the, so this is how we can change the state with input and add the value also to update immediately. So show data binding with React on change and the value what we have in the state. I hope you understand friends and if you like a content like this, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. See you in the next 